Hello and welcome to another episode of A Day in the District. We are in season four and we've been on a brief hiatus during spring break, so welcome back. A Day in the District is a program designed to help you, the viewer, stay connected to your Gary Community School Corporation. I'm Chelsea Whittington and I am so delighted to be joined by someone whom I consider a friend and someone I definitely admire for all of her accomplishments. Welcome to the show, Angela Hamblin Blakely. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Well, I won't bury the lead. If people want to know why you are sitting here, and it is because you have joined our team here yes. at the Gary Community School Corporation yes. as the coach of the girls' varsity basketball team. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank so you. for those who are under a rock and not knowing all of your accomplishments, be it in track and field, but especially basketball. Mm -hmm. We'll start with who is Angela, who was Angela Hamblin, and then we'll fast forward to Angela Hamblin Blakely. Okay, well, Angela Hamblin um, was a three sport athlete at Luala's High School from 90 to 94. Uh, Angela Hamblin left, well, I don't wanna go too fast, <laughs> but while I was at Luala's, uh, I had great coaches, um, played volleyball again, played basketball, was a uh, Indiana All-Star, was an All-American, National All-American. Um, I led the region in scoring and rebounding for a short time. Also, I uh, was a sectional champion. So um, all of those exciting things happened to me, and I'm probably leaving out some things, but I that's have just, them. Don't worry, we'll get to them. <laughs> that's just on the forefront of my mind. Um, and then as a track athlete, I was a two-time state champion um, in track on the track team, and I got some individual accolades as a 100-meter hurt, 100 hurdler, 300-meter hurdler, long jumper. I did a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I enjoyed my time in Gary. Yes, Lou Wallace High School. Now, we know that Lou Wallace has since closed mm -hmm. and has actually been demolished, mm -hmm. but... The good thing about the district, and I'm sure you'll agree with me, is our memories live on, yes. our rivalries live on, yes. and your records live on. Yes. What made you want to go into athletics? Where did it all start? Oh, boy. You know what? I just remember being a little girl, uh, seven, eight years old, just playing basketball, very athletic, running up and down the street, climbing trees. Um, I don't like to call myself a tomboy. I was just an athletic girl. Mm -hmm. So uh, just all of those things I always love to do. And I've been playing basketball since I was about eight years old. So what were your elementary and middle school experiences So like? my elementary, I remember being in gym classes. This is such a crazy question, but I <laughs> wanna, I think it's amazing because I was just thinking about this the other day. Um, I remember being in gym class as a fifth grader. Mm -hmm. And we used to have to climb the, that rope, the rope, right? Yes. Oh, that was torture. And I remember climbing the rope so quickly, and my gym teacher was astonished. And I didn't understand why. He was like, how did you do that so fast? Yeah. I'm like, because you, one, you told me to do it, and uh -huh. two, I just did what I do naturally. I climb trees. Yeah. You know, but so. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I ever got to the top <laughs> at Ernie Pyle, but anyway. But yeah, I just remember that memory as a fifth grader at Webster Elementary School. Okay, then, Webster. Yes. And then uh, at Beckman Middle School, that's where I was. Mm -hmm. Did some very good things as a, a middle schooler at Beckman, and then went to La Wallace. Yes. And I will say, even at that time, um, that the district was embracing girls' sports. Mm -hmm. um, I was in elementary and was able to play AAU. We had a girls' basketball team. Okay. And so I feel like those offerings at a very elementary level mm -hmm. paves the way for the excellent record, track record that you had once getting into Absolutely. high school, et cetera. And so I'm so glad to report for those who are watching that elementary sports have returned to the district. Yay. For a while they were absent, so <laughs> yes, they can work hard yes. so that they can get to you. So I'm gonna go back to the appointment for those who've just tuned in. I am chatting with our newly appointed girls varsity basketball coach for Westside Leadership Academy. When you saw the listing or, I mean, how did the whole process happen? Did somebody call you? Did you hear about it? I mean, because when I heard that you were going to be it, everybody was, I was like, yes. And they were, <laughs> I was like, you all don't understand. I understand. Oh, Your accolades speak for themselves. But how did it happen? That's so sweet. Um, well, I got a phone call from okay. uh, Mr. Lee uh, asking me about my interests. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, you know, um, I'm interested. You know, I was where I was before I came here. Mm -hmm. 
so um, that was kind of a tough situation because yeah. I enjoyed the girls of where I was. Yes. And I enjoyed the coaching staff. Yes. Um, but I just felt like this was a great opportunity. Absolutely. Um, I'm right here at this age where I'm getting ready to be an empty nester. And so I feel like my time, I got a little <laughs> bit more time now. Mm -hmm. uh, my girls are um, in college. One of them is already in college at the University of Arizona. And then I got my baby girl getting ready to go to Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Congratulations. Thank you. So uh, I'm just kind of, it's just me and my husband now. And so I'm like, you know what? I'll have enough time, I feel like, to kind of dedicate mm -hmm. to being a head coach and to everything that comes with it. Yeah. So uh, came in for the interview. I had a great interview, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And um, Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and so the rest is history. I'm here and I'm so excited to be here. So now um, a little birdie told me that you've gotten a chance to kind of check out the girls. I have. So what do you see? What do you think? You know what? They are so excited. Oh, yes. my goodness. Oh, good. Which is it's great, you yes. know what I mean? Um, so I see great things. And okay. and I do give credit to our former coach that was here. Yes. She put a lot in a lot of work in with them. And so uh, what I'm receiving um, is a benefit of her. And then I just want to add to it. Yes. So uh, I, I'm excited about it. And we got a good group. Yes. So now... When we talk about the rivalry and everything, you're you're Lou Wallace, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> so we're asking you to just, you know, put that yellow and black in your pocket for a little while and become a cougar. Yes. What do you think about that? You know, um, uh, <laughs> it's I, all Gary though, right? It is. And you know what? I remember. I hope I can tell the story sure. a little bit. Sure. I remember being a freshman at Lou Wallace and uh, some things happened at Lou Wallace and so I wanted to transfer because I had played with the girls that were here. Uh -huh. They were very good at the time, uh -huh. by the way. Yes. And so I had asked my dad, could I transfer to uh -huh. Westside? Uh -huh. And my daddy was like, no. No. No, you cannot. You're going to stay with your teammates, <laughs> which taught me a great lesson. Mm -hmm. He said, no, you're going to stay there with your teammates. You're going to stick it out with them. And so I stayed at Lou Wallace, and it was great. You know, I got some great things accomplished. But um, coming to Westside now, uh, I just, I'm just i so excited just to embrace the Westside culture. My husband is a graduate of Gary Westside. Yes, he is. And he is a very <laughs> proud graduate of Gary Westside. And so uh, I'm just excited, again, to embrace the culture here. Yes. I'm excited to add to culture here and I'm just I'm looking forward to everything that is coming oh Angela I am so <laughs> excited you are watching a day in the district a day in the district is a program designed to help you the viewer stay connected to your Gary Community School Corporation we're talking all things girls basketball and the fun times that we have had in the district and the fun times that await and if you want more information about the Gary schools you need only head over to our new newly designed website, GarySchools.org. We'll be talking more with Angela when we come back, so you stay right there. When you join the Army, the first thing they teach you is how to get in line. Not exactly the same in high school. When I enrolled in Westside Leadership Academy and joined ROTC, the first thing I learned was respect. Not just for God and country, but for myself. Gary Schools. Strong. Resilient, built for education. I said I'd never join. Thought living on itself would be too hard. I figured only the weatherman tracks storms. get out of my hometown or be the one who stops an attack joining the Navy sounds crazy saying never actually is Welcome back to A Day in the District, and I'm still your host, Chelsea Whittington. I am chatting with our newly appointed girls varsity basketball coach at Westside Leadership Academy. She has so many accolades and records broken and accomplished that I had to pull out the phone. So 
We're moving on to your college career, and I understand that you are a graduate of the University of Iowa, class of 1998, yes. and some of your honors include All-American from Kodak, USA Today, and Parade Magazine, First Team AP All-State, and 1994 Indiana all-star, four-year varsity starter at Lou Wallace, and you graduate. I'm going to stop here, and I'll come back to some more. But you graduated from Lou Wallace with 2,053 career points. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous, <laughs> Angela. How does that make you feel to hear me just read that back? Because I know it's been a while, and I know you don't wake up every day like, hey, I was in Parade <laughs> Magazine. But for the rest of us mm -hmm. who admire and take a piece of that to be proud of Gary history. Mm -hmm. It's it's something to marvel. But what about you? You know, I I kind of I'm always I'm kind of humble when it comes to that those kind of stats and stuff like that because I didn't get in the game for that. Mm -hmm. I just got in the game because I loved it. Mm -hmm. So I loved um, playing basketball. I loved just being an athlete. Mm -hmm. And so I think all of that just kind of came with the territory. Yeah. But um, some of the, the stuff that happened I have forgotten about <laughs> just because. <clears throat> excuse me. I just didn't really. I just didn't really put a spotlight on it for myself yeah. you know what I mean I just don't believe in that you know um I believe in allowing other people to tell you uh, yeah. how good you are or how well good I'm you telling are. you right here on the set of a day in the <laughs> district me. and I'm wondering you said the girls are excited here at Westside to have you but do they really know do they really know who you are uh, I don't know I think honestly. I will call them in, or <laughs> email them your stats so they can really know I'm sure their parents are probably telling them you I don't know. They're excited. So okay. I don't know if their excitement is from what they've heard or what they've read, but uh -huh. I'm just glad they're excited. But yes. I don't know that they know. Well, this is like one of those cases where, you know, when somebody says, Google me, <laughs> I, I really think that they should. Uh -huh. And for parents who are watching, before we started the show, I talked about uh, Gary Schools being in the throes of enrollment. We're always enrolling young people. Mm -hmm. And you know that the dynamics here are such that Parents have options, mm -hmm. different types of opportunities for education for their students. And their motives are different. Some, specifically, I want my child with academics, which we have. Yes. Others, I want my child immersed in the arts, which we have. And then, obviously, there's always athletics. Mm -hmm. And I feel like your joining the team also elevates our level of excellence mm. when it comes to recruiting young athletes who would want to be under the tutelage. Mm -hmm. So having said all that, what are some of the first things you want to do with the young ladies when they step on the court, practice begins? What does that look like? So what it looks like, um, it actually looks a little different because I am a culture person. Okay. Um, I'm very much into character and integrity. Okay. So those are the kind of things that I want to establish first. I just believe in being a good person. Yes. And I think that uh, the basketball will take care of itself and every other thing will take care of itself as it relates to athletics. But the part of me that says, if I can teach them or instill some life skills in them, mm. Oh, that, that to me is worth all of the practices Absolutely. And, and everything that we'll, we'll go through. Absolutely. So um, it, that's kind of what it looks like on the front side of it. Okay. Um, and then on the other side of it, I want to do some development. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I think that, you know, our kids still need to be developed in some skills, you know, ball handling and different things like that mm -hmm. pertaining to basketball. Mm -hmm. But that's in a, in a nutshell is yeah. where I am. Yeah, well, I will tell you, do not be surprised when I sneak in the gym <laughs> <laughs> to watch and be a fly on the wall and maybe get a few tips on my jump shot, but I'm excited for them because some of them are seniors mm -hmm. or juniors and they have aspirations to moving on to the collegiate level. Yes. Take me back to Iowa. It was the 90s, mm -hmm. which is much different than 2024. Yes. What was that environment like leaving Gary and going to school in Iowa? I know Iowa is not Gary, so. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> um, Iowa was a little bit of a shock, but I will say this about the University of Iowa. I did not experience a lot of racism. Uh, Iowa was a good place, and mm -hmm. it still is, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I got there, was able to, of course, you know, get an education, but um, had great coaches. Mm -hmm. And so I cherished that time at the University of Iowa. It was a lot of hard work now. I'm I, sure. Oh, my God. It I'm was sure. hard work that I had never encountered before. Mm -hmm. And so and that's, that's another thing that I love to give to our kids, mm -hmm. not just the girls' basketball, but everybody, mm -hmm. the fact that there is such a big difference 
difference between high school and college. Yes. And, you know, there's a lot that go into being a college athlete. So um, it was a great, great time. It really, really was. Yes. And so now that we're mentioning college and we have a couple of more minutes left in this segment, the face, the whole energy around college, women's college yes. basketball is just all the rage. Oh, we yes. watched all the finals. Mm -hmm. We watched Caitlin. We're learning about the endorsements and the yes. whole transition to WNBA. I got to get your thoughts on all oh, of that. Oh, you know, women's basketball is on fire right now. Yeah. Um, and I think it's on fire for a good reason. Mm -hmm. I believe our game is still very pure. Mm -hmm. I believe our game is developing more and more. We got some super superstars. Yes. And so uh, I just believe women's basketball is going up. It's yes. going to be higher and higher and higher. It's amazing because I was a part of one of the first draft classes of the WNBA what? in 1998. The the league was only two years old at the time. Uh -huh. And so uh, to see how it has grown in 25 years has been just phenomenal. Oh, I am just excited for you to be able to parlay that information over to the young girls. Mm -hmm. Is there Are there any plans for you all to attend any of the games, whether it be college, mm -hmm. uh, WNBA, for them to start to get there? Oh, absolutely. I think that would be great. I yeah. think they have to see that. And, yeah. of course, we can go and support our very own Dana Evans. Absolutely. She's in Chicago. So. She still comes around, too, yeah. and talks to the girls. I mean, what an amazing opportunity mm -hmm. for our young people. So before we get out of here with our second segment, do they... Are there tryouts? Do they if they're already on the team? How does that work? Do we have to all try out again? What are we doing? So um, <laughs> we'll have tryouts. We'll have workouts. I should call them. I'll okay. call them workouts. Okay. So to anybody that may be interested in playing basketball, okay. Towards the end of the May, when school is getting ready to get out, we'll okay. have more tryouts or callouts. Okay. So that you could come and I can see you and you can see me and okay. all of those kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. And we'll get to see you on the court shooting around Ooh, a little bit. Oh, I don't know. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I am so excited for the young ladies and those who are looking to enroll their children in the Gary Community School Corporation. If ever there was a time, the time is now. You are watching A Day in the District. A Day in the District is a program designed to help you, the viewer, stay connected to your Gary Community School Corporation. Have you seen our new website? You gotta go check it out. Go to GarySchools.org. And when we come back, we're gonna talk about Angela's Hall of Fame status and whether or not she still gets on the court with her husband. Stay right there. Oh, beautiful for heroes proved in the Who more than self their country loved and mercy it's gross. I don't really want to talk about it. She didn't want to at first, but I mean, it's no big deal. Everybody does it. I was ready. Totally ready. Because we have been practicing this dance for weeks. He was supposed to take this girl to this dance, but <laughs> <laughs> I sprained my ankle at track practice. I hate sharing anything personal. It's so disgusting. For the dance, I let her wear my shoes and she hated it, but I thought she looked great in them. He could barely even walk. I ended up taking some pills for my pain. Yeah, they were my mom's, but it didn't go well. If it's not yours. If it's not yours. If it's not yours. Hey you. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. You won't believe what happened next. Welcome back. Is it the final segment already? Well, time flies when you're having fun, especially when you're talking to a Hall of Famer. You're watching A Day in the District, and I've been chatting with Angela Hamblin Blakely. And I teased in the last segment about your Hall of Fame status. Can you explain to me what that designation is? It's the state of Indiana, and it's a pretty big deal. So I don't want to mince it. What designation did you get as a Hall of Famer? It is a huge deal. 
<laughs> and to be a part of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame is to be a part of Indiana basketball history. Yes, indeed. And so I'm so excited. I'm so grateful that I was chosen to be a part of it. Not only was I chosen to be a part of it because I was an Indiana All-Star, but I was also chosen to be a part of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame because of my individual accolades. Yes. So I'm just so grateful to God for that opportunity and just to be able to represent uh, Indiana and Northwest Indiana yes. in the B Basketball Hall yes. of Fame. So forever. It is That's the thing about yes. the Hall of Fame designation. Mm -hmm. It's forever. So is there a, a, a photo or profile of you down in Indianapolis? Like if we wanted to go see yes. our Hall of Famers, what do we need to do? So in Newcastle, Indiana, okay. you can go down to the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. It's um, a museum, I okay. should say. And I am there along with all of those that were inducted with my class. So, 2021? 2021, yes. Oh my, I've done my homework. <laughs> I, why am I tearing up? Now that's um, the field trip. WNBA game is nice. Yes. College game is nice. I think we need to load up the bus oh. and head to Newcastle oh, wow. so that the young people can really, truly understand that they are being taught and led and encouraged and inspired by greatness. Oh. Now, I'm going to interject this one random question, so unprofessional, but it was brought to me. It's no secret. You know, our husbands are friends, yes. longtime friends, mm -hmm. West Side graduates. Absolutely. And he all, often recalls how... Even back in high school, how your husband was just enamored by you oh. and was just like, she's the one, you know, and here we are 30 some years later, yes. you're still the one. Oh. But my husband wants to know if the two of you still play one on one. And if so, who wins the most? So here is the <laughs> twist. We don't play one on one against each other anymore. We okay. play two on two against the girls. The girls, okay. So we were um, when my daughter was in school at Middle Tennessee State University. Mm -hmm. We were there visiting, and so after practice, we kind of just shooting around me and the girls, or all of us really. And so we decided to play two on two. Okay. So my husband and I won, but they were all upset because we had to call a couple timeouts. You know, we kind of got tired, we got winded right, a little you had to bit. Hold the knees. So yeah. <laughs> So uh, we took a bunch of TV timeouts and yeah. a bunch of timeouts, but we ended up beating no girls. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. I love uh, it. Yeah. I love in basketball. <laughs> so speaking of the girls, mm -hmm. your daughter has followed in your footsteps mm -hmm. of excellence. Brag a little, would you? Well, she is now currently a junior at the University of Arizona. Um, going into her senior year, she had a great season. Yes. Uh, she has been known or has been called uh, one of their great defensive persons. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just so proud of her. I'm so proud of everything that she's doing. I'm so proud of my baby girl as well. Um, she ended up finishing up at Hammond Central with 1,000 points. Ooh-wee. Um, so I'm Not excited. Not like her mom's 2,053. <laughs> Let's be clear. Well, you know, thousand... Courtney surpassed my 2,053. She sure did. <laughs> so uh, I, all together, I think we have about 5,000 uh, points That's together amazing. with the three of us. That's in the DNA. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm excited and I'm very, very proud of both of them. Yes. They're doing great things. Now, what is your daughter studying in college? She is studying to be an accountant. That is awesome. She so loves... she's going to count all her money when she heads to the Mine WNBA. Mine too. <laughs> oh, and yours too. I love it. Yes. And does your daughter have any aspirations of where she wants to go or is that a secret for college? You're, you're a high schooler. Oh, she's going to Kirkwood Community College in That's Cedar right, Rapids, Kirkwood. Iowa. And she's already set and ready to go. Yes, yeah, she's ready. Playing basketball? Yes. Oh, that is so awesome. Yes. It just runs in the <laughs> family. So we've talked about what's next for students, but when you think about the young people who are in the program, what are some of the attributes that bubble up to the top for you for a student athlete? Because we emphasize... Student first, Absolutely. then an athlete. Absolutely. Who is Coach Angela looking for to be on the squad? I'm looking for a student athlete. Okay. Uh, all around student athlete. I'm looking for some young ladies to uh, to really make sure that they take care of business business in the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, that's so and so important to me. Um, you know, one of the things that we talked about earlier was the character and the integrity part of it, and I just believe that's a part of it. Absolutely. Um, being educated is so important because this is one of the things that I teach. Okay. Um, one day you're going to be me, and I don't mean me physically. Mm -hmm. I mean one day you're going to be a mother, one day you're going to be a wife, one day you're going to have to take care of a home, mm -hmm. and you're going to need to know how to do that, and you're going to need to know how to read, you're going to need to know how to add. Gonna... Yes. And so all of those things 
things, they mean so much to me. Yes. And so I want to make sure that I push that mm -hmm. in them because the basketball eventually stops bouncing. Yes, it does. The air runs out of the basketball. <laughs> Sad, but true. <laughs> but it can be recreational, but it as far can. as that Yes, yeah. so time. once that process happens, who am I? Who are you? Yes. So I want to make sure those are the kinds of things that I'm instilling in our young ladies. Yes, that is so excellent. If you have not looked up Angela Hamblin, Angela Hamblin Blakely, mm -hmm. you know, we do these three, three I know. <laughs> hyphenated names just so people remember what we did yes. back at Westside, back at Lou Wallace. Mm -hmm. But the future of these young ladies is so bright. When do you officially start with the district? I know that, you know, is it after school ends? I know we were talking about the conditioning and everything. Are you ready? You ready for us? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to go. And I have officially started. Okay. So we have met a few times. Uh, me and the girls have mm -hmm. met a few times in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's been very productive. It's okay. been very, very good. Okay. So I have officially started. Um, I think we'll go full-fledged, though, okay. once school is out and okay. during the month of June. Yes. So uh, all of those details, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get those out soon. Soon, mm -hmm. But it definitely will be uh, right at the end of the month, right I'm going so into June. Excited! So, last before we get out of here, I wanted to just talk about the facilities. I always use this show as a platform for those who are not necessarily abreast of what's going on in the district. I'm sure that when you walk the grounds, you found the gymnasium mm. is is ripe for good conditioning. The it's track amazing. is ripe for when they want to go outside and yes. run. What are your reactions to the environment in which you will be able to coach? So I came for a game uh, during the basketball season, uh -huh. and I was just amazed. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. It really is. And this is a great place to coach. Mm -hmm. You know, you look around and you see the history. I was walking through the surge a few days ago and just looking at the history of yes. Gary Westside, which coincides with the history of Gary. Yes. And I'm just so uh, elated to be a part of that yes. and to build on top of that. I am excited about it. And I carry that with me because I just believe in that. Well, I believe in you, Aww. and I believe we're going to take it all the way to state. <laughs> you have been watching A Day in the District, a program designed to help you, the viewer, stay connected to your Gary Community School Corporation. I want to thank Angela for joining us today, and we expect you to come out, support Gary Sports, support your Gary Schools, and enroll your child today. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. W-S-T-G